Hello online crew, welcome to today's live where we are continuing the conversation regarding a branding. It's one of the most foundational things that you should have in place if you want to build successfully on social media in this space. And what I mean by this space is my audience here where entrepreneurs, home-based business owners, direct sellers, network marketers, etc. So branding yourself is your point of difference. Um, if you are in the kind of business model where you have got the rights to sell something that somebody else has created, but you have no control over the distribution, no control over pricing, no control over anything, you're just given a product to, you know, on sell, then branding you is the key to your success because you've got to stand out from the crowd. Your value, your face, your information, you want to make more money, become more valuable on social media, but that comes down to you. I cannot stress how important it is in um, you know this modern world of social media with our industry today, okay? So um, I want to share with you today a bit of a checklist. Um, it'll be mainly for those of you that have got like a business page, but I am going to share some extra things that you would add on to it if you've got a group and you're branding in a group. Um, if you're mainly building from a personal profile, please go and watch my video from yesterday where I explain the differences between where you're building and what you need to be aware of and where you are in your journey as to what to be aware of from a personal profile to a group to a business page. Okay, those of you that are branding on a business page, I'm going to give you this bit of a checklist. You can check that off. And if you've got a group, there'll be some extra things which I'll get to, um, you know, after that. Okay, so for those of you that this is useful for, um, this is kind of a bit of a snapshot as to what I work with you for a month on if you want to join us for our branding course next week. Um, if you have not established your brand, uh, you're wasting your time, nobody knows what you do, they don't know who you are, they don't know what you're working towards, they don't know what problems you solve, then check out this, um, helenmartinonline.com forward slash branding. Those of you in my coaching community, I have a special discount code for you guys. So don't click on that link or put that in your browser. Um, you need to um, get in contact with me for your discount code. OK, because you get a massive discount. OK, so if you want help in this area, help is available to you for a little small investment. But that investment could be the best thing you've ever done for your business to get you on track with growing the right audience, the right tribe, the right community who are interested in what you have got to offer because you've set up your brand and you're giving great, valuable content around that brand. OK, so we'll get on to that in a moment. couple of things. This is my last live for this week because starting tonight, at three o'clock in the morning, I'm on um, training all night for three nights, my Friday night, Saturday night and Sunday night, starting at 3 a.m., going through to about lunchtime the following day. Then I'll try to sleep, get up the next night and do it again. Um, it's my son's birthday this weekend, so it's <laughs> not good timing. Um, I'll be lucky actually if I see him. Um, but anyway, so I'm not actually going live uh, tomorrow, okay? So what I want to warn you guys about is when you turn up with me next week, those of you in the US and Canada, I will be an hour later than what I am now, that you're seeing me now, because you guys are moving into what you call, what was it, spring something, like daylight savings, um, but I still go live at normal time, so it pushes us another hour out. When we lose our daylight savings in April, it will push us another hour out. UK guys, I'm not sure what you, I don't think you're yet, but there'll be a change for you coming up. So just be aware that when I normally go live, what you're used to for the last six months is about to change next week. I always put up reminders of when I go live on my page. So um, at least two hours before. So, um, you know, just keep an eye on that until you get used to it, okay? If you, but if you turn up normal time next week, if you're in the US and Canada, um, I wouldn't have gone live yet or I would have already been live. No, I wouldn't have gone live yet because you're an hour later, I think. <laughs> I'm trying to work it all out. Okay, so just be aware of that. Uh, not going live tomorrow, so I'll just put photos up of what I'm doing. I'm on, I'm helping mentor a leadership training for three nights for a group of um, entrepreneurs. Um, so very high level leadership skills. 
Um, what else did I need to tell you? I think that was about it. Oh, no, coaching community members, just quickly. I did a training. I've just done a training for an hour and a half in the coaching community regarding organic networking strategies and a really, really cool, effective strategies to help you find your perfect prospects or higher quality prospects. Like I'm all for working smarter and more strategic than spending a lot of time doing organic networking, which none of us have got time to do. So please go and catch the replay of that training in the coaching community because it'll be really effective for you. Okay. Um, those of you that would like to join us in the coaching community that are not already a member, the details are up above as well. Okay. So um, how are you guys? What's happening today? Are you good? Hello, Cherie. We've got Jenna as well. Hello, Sophie again. Sophie was on that training. Hello, Cynthia. Faye, we've got Cindy here as well. Uh, Susan's one of our VIPs. Hello, Olive. How are you? Loving the blue today. Oh, there is a lot of blue today, isn't there? It's actually my kids' uh, sports day today. It's a nice sunny day, so I'm missing most of the day, but I will go down there this afternoon and get out in the sunshine and taking the blue sky that we've got here today, literally, and see my kids run around and hopefully do really well. Hello, Christine. We've got Debbie. We've got Ford. We've got Jim. How are you? We've got Veronica, Beth, Christine. I love how Facebook just shows us when you are going live in our time zone. I know uh, definitely helps. My weird time zone says the same. So I still get, yeah. So what I did read up, because I looked it up, Olive alerted me to it. So thank you, Olive, because, you know, I live in Australia. I'm on the other end of the earth. But I did read, Christine, that it's not all parts of, of the US and Arizona. That's where you are, isn't it, Christine? You don't change. So why are you so special, Christine? <laughs> I'll still be normal time for you. But I, I what's, what's with that? Why, why, why are you not, um, you know, with the same as everyone else? Squirrel moment. Sorry, guys. It was fabulous. Thank you, Sophie. I appreciate that. Hello, Sharon. Good to see you on. Such a great training. Thank you, Christine. Um, it can be really, really effective for you guys in organic networking. Hello, Linda. How are you? We've got Rochelle here as well. Awesome. So let's get into the content. So you got your pens ready? Those of you that want to know a little bit more about branding, but again, if you want to work with me for a full month, about your branding, your branding message, and actually dial it down because um, I see some really interesting branding messages out there. Even if I give you this as a framework, doesn't mean you're necessarily going to do the best job at it. You might need some help. If you do, the help is there. If not, go for it, okay? So number one, um, you want a very specific banner. So whether it's a business page or a group, very, uh, notice my wording, guys, specific, specific. Don't ask questions, uh, don't be vague, don't give quotes, don't say live the life of your dreams, what I talked about yesterday, very specific banner, okay? This even comes down to, um, you know, your name or whatever it is that you want to call yourself. Please make it searchable. If you've got a last name or a first name that, well, you kind of need your first name, but if you've got a last name that nobody knows how to spell, or the word, the wording on your group or your page is like six words. Forget it. Nobody can find you. It's too complicated. Simple, um, as in length, and simple as in words. So whatever you do, however you're naming yourself, however you're branding yourself, whether it's your personal name or a, um, you know, a branding name of some sort, please make it simple. And that would want to be on your banner. Okay. Also in the banner. Um, so remember, this is all about you. It's not about your company. We don't want to see company up in that banner. Don't want to see the company name. Don't want to see the products. This is all about you. So remember, it's you, your your name, or you can use, you know, whatever version of that that you want. Um, but the two other things that are most important is what do you do? What do you do? What problems do you solve? Like that all has to be in your branding message. That is the bit that everybody trips up on. I know it. I've done 20 rounds of my branding course to know that this is the hardest part in getting your branding message right is just that it seems simple, but it's it's often not. Um, so you, you've got to spend a lot of time on it. Who's your target market? Who's your customer avatar? Who are you talking to? A lot of the stuff that I mentioned yesterday, don't use the word, I help people. I can help you get great skin. I can help you lose weight. Um, you know, I help people build businesses. I help people, you know, whatever. None of that, too vague, um, it won't get you a tribe, 
Okay, so very, very specific. It's you, um, very searchable in your name. Those of you that have got a group, what are people looking for in what you do? Make the name of the group something that's searchable. Why do you think my group that some of you would be watching from is called Social Media Strategies for Home Business Owners? People are searching for that, social media strategies, home business. It's very searchable. Some people say, how did you find me? And they'll say, I found you, you know, through Facebook search. Very deliberate. So what's the name of your page or your group? Like, look at that. Okay, so this is all in number one. Searchable name, your banner, it's you, it's your photograph, it's not the company stuff. What do you do? What problems do you solve? Okay, that's all got to be in the banner. Okay, number two. When people find you and your page and your brand and whatever, you absolutely 100% need to pin to the top of your page or your group a welcome post or a welcome video. I'd always recommend welcome video because people need to see who you are. They need to speak. They need to know that you care. They need to know that you're genuine and authentic and all those kind of things. And video is the fastest way for you to do that. So please don't make your welcome videos half an hour because people don't care that much about you. They only care about how you can help them. So short, sharp, shiny. I've got a formula for that, but that's all in the branding course, okay? If you don't want to do a video, if you're still scared of live video and you're avoiding it at all costs, you need to at least have a post. If you look at my page, you'll know that I've got, um, and you look at the pinned post, it's actually a, uh, a written post. It's not a video. For the first two years of my page, I had a video. And that's what I would always recommend you guys do when you're first growing. The reason that I changed to a post is because my page was growing, but my organic reach was not growing equal to it. So the impact of that is your page is growing, but if your organic uh, reach at that point in time was not growing to the same degree, it means I've got more people there, but they're not seeing my stuff because Facebook isn't putting it in front of them. So I strategically changed my post to turn your notifications on. If you want to see my stuff, click the button at the top of my page and follow my page and turn your notifications on and turn it to see all, not just highlights. You want to see all my, so I'm telling people, if you want to see my stuff, you need to turn your notifications on. That became more important to me as my message um, than the video um, because of where I was at at my business a couple of years down the track. Make sense? So even, you know, if you've got a group, what do people do when they get in the group? Um, are you welcoming people into the group and pinning them to the or tagging them in the welcome post? What do people do when they get to you? What do they see? What do you do? What can you help them with? Um, you know, all that kind of stuff. You've got to give people instructions because <laughs> you know what confused people do? Nada. Nothing. Nothing. you got to treat, this is going to come out the wrong way, but you've got to treat people kind of like idiots. Not not in a not in a um, you know bad way. Just spell it out really basically with really basic words. Even if you do what you do is quite complicated. Um, whatever you do, excuse me, on social media, you need to say it simply and have instructions for people because that's what people need. Number three, um, congruent to your branding. Around eighty percent of your content has got to be congruent with the way that you've branded yourself and then 20% of that is bringing other stuff in. On a business page, people need to get to know you personally. If it's all business, people get bored, they're out of there. If your group is all about selling and promoting stuff, they're bored, they're out of there. Yes, people love to buy, but they don't like to be sold to. Okay, you need to, you might need to give more value, um, you know, in your group. But one piece of content minimum a day, every day, every day, don't miss a day. And don't do, if you saw my review of Susan Hagel's page last week, she was over posting. So if you want to see me review a business page and you missed that video, it was my last video from last week out of the five that I do, go and watch the replay of that and you'll see how Susan was over posting. So you don't want to under post and you don't want to over post. Minimum one piece of content a day on a business page. Personal profile. Could be, you could leave it a little bit longer. If you've got a good post that's getting some traction, let it run for a couple of days. Um, so it depends where you're hanging out as to the type of content. So number three is a piece of content every day. Obviously, I'm going to suggest to you that um, you do do live videos to some capacity if you want to speed up the results in your business. If you don't, do all posts. Up to you. Float your boat. 
depends on you. But those of you that are avoiding live video, it's going to be a lot harder for people to get to know, like, and trust you, particularly from the cold market if they don't know you, if you're not doing live video. Um, so if you want to speed up your results, do live video. I've told you over and over and over again, by 2022, apparently 80% of um, all internet content, online content is going to be video. So if you're not doing video, you're missing the boat. You're really, really missing the boat. So regular live video, um, you know, is a must. How many you do will depend on the size of your page, the size of your group. That's all stuff that I can discuss with you regarding exact content strategy for your business and where you're at. That's what I'll talk to people about in the branding course, okay? Number four, what's your call to action? Where are you sending people, if anywhere? Do you have a freebie? Do you have anything people can opt into? And is it valuable? Your call to action should not be an opt-in to a sales page when you're first building out. You should have a call to action somewhere, whether it's in your welcome post um, or somewhere on your page or in your group. What can people opt into? Uh, preferably learn how to, you know, create a lead magnet or something like that that is valuable, not salesy, not, not trying to sell them something, but valuable information. Because guess what? You don't own your followers. You don't own Jack, you know what, through Facebook or Instagram or any social media platform. What you do own is an email list. So if you got shut down, and some of you would have been in the past, um, you know, you, 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 you could be back to square one after a lot of effort on a personal profile that could get shut down, a lot of effort on a business page that could get shut down or even a group. If your personal profile gets shut down, then everything else can't be accessed type thing. It's devastating. So two things there. One, where are you leading people to from your page or your group? There should always be something. There should always be something that you can lead people to, like a resource or a video or, or something like that. So take take your followers and your fans and the people that are following you. What's the next step? What is the logical next step to get people to get more value from you? So if you don't know what that is, work out what your next step is. What, what free training can you offer? What video? You know, those kind of things. The other thing is if you can, um, you know, from any avenue that you're doing on social media, can you create a lead magnet and get somebody's email to continue that relationship and protect yourself if something happened, um, you know, on your social media platform? Okay, so things that you need to think about when you're building a brand. Um, if you're not serious about this, this is a hobby, you just want to make 10 bucks a week extra or something like that. I mean, you know what I mean. Don't go and build a business page because it requires consistency, effort, live video, calls to action. Like they're amazing when you know how to work them. Um, you can leverage your business page. You can't leverage your personal profile. You can't leverage your group. So it depends how long you're around here for this in this journey. If you're just here for five minutes and just testing out whether it's going to work, then these kind of things that I'm mentioning here could be um, a whole lot of waste of time and stress and energy for you if you're not serious about it and you're not willing to be consistent. Consistency is key. Um, you'll often hear me say when you're in and out of your social media journey, so are your results. When you're consistent, it's hard work in the beginning, but I will remind you of this. You need to earn the right for people to become a customer or join you in the team. It doesn't just happen. You earn the right in a number of ways. People look up to you or you give great value over and over and over again so people know, like, and trust you. Success does breed success. It will be easier for some people than it might be for yourself. So somebody that's already got the success, already got a big downline, already got a big following, you know, and to boot, they're skinny and beautiful. <laughs> you know, the people that I'm talking about, you look up to them and they say, I wish I had that. They can do things on social media that you can't if that's not you. So you need to adjust your social media strategy to who you are, your results, your following. And if you don't have any of those things, results are following, um, you know, a, a big network around you, then it is even more important for you to up the value. You need to give more value and you need to be become more valuable to people and helpful to people and inspirational to people than even that leader does because that leader's already got a following already guaranteed following success breeds success. They just get more successful because they've already got the success. If you don't already have the success, you need to learn ways to become more valuable. So what you do and what they do is going to be different. You hear me mention that all the time. There is not one blanket training for who should do what on social media in our industry. 
because it depends on a lot of variables. Like where should you be building? And that depends on <clears throat> your experience, your success or lack of and all those kind of things, okay? So this is where your branding and how you go about it becomes so, so important and how much more valuable content you need to put out maybe than what a leader is telling you to do because they don't need to do it because they've already got the following and people turn up and listen to them anyway. You don't have that yet maybe. People are not showing up on your live videos and waiting for you to go live because um, you don't have the following yet. So you're going to have to work harder. It takes freaking hard work to be successful in this industry, one, and then to try to do it online, two. Okay, it takes hard work and that's consistency as well. Okay, uh, so number four was have a, um, a valuable call to action of some sort. Now, for those of you that don't have a lead bank, that don't have a free training, don't have a resource to send people to, then your call to action is to open the door for a conversation. If you would like to know more about X, Y, Z, then, um, you know, please PM me there, you know, and give them um, the avenue to do that. How do they do that? Treat people like idiots, have a call to action, open the door for a conversation, but tell them how to do that. Okay, people need to be led. If you want people to actually reach out to you, you need to tell them that that's okay and that your door is open. So very minimum level, it would be having a conversation and opening that door. Um, you can you can build a business page forever. You can build a, a group forever. But if you're not quite active with calls to action and opening the door for a conversation, then people will just listen and learn from you and not do anything. you got to let people know that you are there to help and that you are happy to do that. And you do a lot more in the beginning than you do in the end because you've got to earn your stripes. You've got to earn the right to get customers and people join you in your business. It just doesn't happen because you want it to happen. Um, it's all about caring about the other person before you care about your own wallet first, okay? Um, number five, um, have a, uh, a, a unique but searchable URL to your page. And those of you with a group, you must go into your settings and change the name of the group. Otherwise, it says forward facebook.com forward slash group 2347921. Yay, great group. How do I find your group? Oh, here's the URL. Oh, great branding there. So it's in your settings. You just go and change the name of the URL to the name of the group. Simple. Do you know how many people don't do it? Same as the URL of a business page. The name of my page is Helen Martin. My URL is Helen Martin Online. That is congruent with the name of my website. My website is Helen Martin Online because I don't have a unique name. I went from Williams to Martin. My maiden name's Williams. My married name's Martin. Not very unique. So somebody else had already took Helen Martin, obviously everywhere. Couldn't get that as a domain name. Couldn't get that as a URL. If, if, if there's somebody out there that doesn't know what URL means, it's the link that people use to find your group or your page, okay? So it's just like mine is www. you know, the forward slash facebook.com forward slash Helen Martin online is my URL. That's my, my web address, okay? My um, website address is www.helenmartinonline.com. Like it's, it's all congruent, okay? But you, some of you have got business pages and you, you haven't even created a URL. So my business page is called Helen Martin. There's a million Helen Martins. You, you go Helen Martin, you'll find a lot of business pages called Helen Martin. But there's only ever one URL in Facebook world. So go and secure your URL if you haven't already because you want to be as searchable as you possibly can. Same with the group. Make sure your URL to the group, you've actually gone into the settings of your group and changed it. So it's just not a whole lot of numbers that don't mean anything to anybody, okay? So that is number five. Number six, fill out all the different sections that Facebook gives you to give you yourself the best brand. Fill out the about section. If you've got a website, put it there. Don't put your company branded websites there though. That's not what this is about. This is about you. This is about branding you. You give that to people after you've had a conversation with them. If you give all your secrets away of what your thing is, they don't need to talk to you. They don't need to message you. They don't need to find out what it is that you're doing because you've got a website there that leads straight to your company branded website. And it's like, oh, is that what they're doing? Oh, they're selling all this stuff. Okay, so fill out all your about section and the details and 
you know, if you've got a personal website, if you don't, just leave it blank, you know, all those kind of things. But fill out all the areas that you can possibly fill out to, um, you know, strengthen your brand and what it is that you do and what problems you solve for people, okay? Number seven, there are tools on a business page, not a group, but there are tools that you can use. You'll notice with mine, there's a little shop section. You can actually buy things from my Facebook page. There's things and tools, and I'm, that's not for this, I'm not going to go into detail regarding that, but there's all sorts of things on a business page that you probably don't even know that, that are there that you are underutilizing. So make sure you're actually going into or go and play. Go and play with all the, I'll get there, Sheree. <laughs> Um, go and play with, um, you know, all the buttons and stuff and absolutely max that out, okay? Uh, number eight is um, absolute must group, personal profile, business page, lead with value, lead with value, lead with value, don't lead with the sale. When people know you care, they will start to care, okay? So when your motivation is to help people on a particular problem that you can solve for them, rather than buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, um, you'll speed up the results of your business. So leading with valuable information, if you don't know what that is, I don't know what to talk about. I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to talk about on my live videos. You don't know your brand. Easy as that. When you know your brand, you know what to talk about. You know where to go and find information. You don't need to be the expert. You need to have. You need to plug into Google and Pinterest. There's research all around you. You invest in some training. You learn it. You turn around and teach it in what the area that you've branded yourself. There is never an excuse for not to have great, valuable content because it's all around you. Most content is not new. It's not new. Most information and content that people have done before you, they will do after you. It's the same content. Personal development, none of it's new. People need to hear it over and over and over and over again. So don't be afraid to say the same things over and over and over again because people listen and they don't do anything with it. It's not until the 25th time that they've heard it, they've gone, oh, Penny just dropped. So information is all around you. You don't have to be the guru. You don't have to be the expert. You just need to be willing to help people on a particular topic that you have branded yourself. Make sense? Okay, those of you with a group, a couple of more things for you. Make sure your group is a social learning group. So you have categories that you can classify your group. So you want to make sure you've changed that to social learning so you can actually have what used to be called units that are now called guides on the side. And you can, as soon as somebody gets into your group, you can have things pinned to... I wish they were still called units because it was a lot easier and that's what I'm used to and it makes more sense to me, but now they're called guides. So you can have the guides on the side that go, this is step one. This is, you know, whether you've got a health group or a weight loss group or a digital marketing group or whatever it is, you can have guide one that is an introduction and a welcome. Guide two, here's some tips around this, that and whatever. Guide three, here's some more training. So as soon as they get into your group, you've got valuable information for them at their fingertips and you're welcome post or your welcome video directs people to go to the guides where all that valuable information is. Simple stuff in relation to branding. So just make sure you're doing it. Make sure you're welcoming new members. Facebook gives you a button to push to do that for you. When you go and look at all your members, there's a little thing on the side that says welcome your new members and it tags them all for you. You don't even have to go and find out who they are and tag them. So um, go and do that acknowledge your um, top contributors to the group. Facebook does that for you. If you go into the, um, you know, the settings and the areas on the side, it tells you who your top contributors are. Put a picture up and acknowledge your top contributors. Like it, it's, um, you know, there's all these little things that you can do with the group to make people feel special, okay? Um, make sure the group, your group is private. For those of you that have got a public group, what's the point? You might as well have a business page so you can scale it. A public group is, doesn't really serve much of a purpose. You should either have a private group or a business page, okay? The other thing is make sure that you've got the questions turned on when people join your group. You have the ability to ask three questions of people when they join your group. So something that you would um, want to be doing, if you're not doing, one of those three questions should be, um, what is your best email address to keep you updated with, you know, the valuable information from this group? Start collecting emails manually, people. If you're not doing that, you're also missing opportunities there to deepen the connection. Even if you're not doing email marketing yet, 
you can still start collecting emails, okay? Because guess what? If your Facebook group goes down and you've got some email addresses, you can send them an email going, oh, my gosh, my group's gone, shut down and whatever, but this is what I'm doing and this is a new group that I've created and whatever. Uh Uh-huh, you've got a contact for them because you've been collecting email addresses, okay? You never know when that might be handy, even if you're not doing email marketing yet. I do appreciate that is a more advanced skill that a lot of you may not be doing, but you'd be silly not to be asking for email addresses when they join your groups, okay? Um, And my last point for the group was, please make sure it's, it's, you know, majority value and it depends what the purpose of the group is, but you really don't, you really want a value-based group, not a selling-based group. But if that's what your group is about, that's okay. If you, if that's what the group's purpose is for, selling some stuff to people, you know, that's okay. You just got to work out what the branding is of your group. But even a group, guys, don't label the group your company. If you want to talk about the company inside the group because it's appropriate, fine. But you are not your company. You don't own it. You didn't create it. Your point of difference is you and the value that you bring around the benefits of the products that you have and that you this, the problems that you can solve with that, okay? This branding thing will make or break you, I tell you. Okay, so um, I hope that was useful for you. I'll check in a couple of comments here. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, but if you do want to join us in um, the branding course, the details are above coaching community members. You've got to get the special discount code from me. Um, So uh, Janet, just keep talking. Don't stop. Then go and edit and splice a video um, together. Yeah, so maybe Janet's uh, replying to somebody's comment there, but that's good, uh, good feedback. Your name might not be unique, but you sure are. Oh, <laughs> Bear, that's so sweet of you. Thank you. You're funny. Williams to Martin. Yep, that's as unique as I am. Um, who knows my middle name? Um, I guess my middle name. Who knows my middle name? I don't think I've ever told you my middle No, oh, maybe some people in the coaching community would know it, but um, I'll see if you guys know my middle name. That That's my element of surprise. It's not unique, though. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Hello, Cheryl. How are you? Laurie, I've got the makings of a fabulous blooper. Blooper videos are amazing. People love them. Um, I remember um, some people that I was uh, following, they do a lot of recorded videos, a lot of little short recorded training videos. And when you do recorded training videos, you make a lot of mistakes and you do a lot of additions. So they uh, they got all their bloopers together. It was only about two or three minutes, but it was hilarious because it was two people bouncing each off each other and swearing at each other and, um, you know, you know, for the longest time, Cherie, I don't know if I've ever told you this, I thought your last name was um, Wood, Woodward. I just never read it properly. I don't know if I said that to you, but um, it. I, I only realised it was Wooded, and I don't know if that's even pronouncing it properly, until I'd known you for quite some time. I was saying, I think I was saying Woodward or something different. So, yeah. I know, Cherie, I've got to drink a gallon of water. Thank you for the reminder. I've been on an hour and a half training with the coaching community and with you guys here now, and I've literally drunk nothing. And if you know me, that, oh, that's my nickname, um, Heather. Did you Have I told you guys that? Um, that's my nickname from a young girl. I can't tell you guys how much hair I used to have. My hair used to be like really, really long, really, really curly, really, really dark. Um, And my nickname, um, and it still is to my husband and really close friends of mine from from when I was a little girl, um, they still call me Hair Bear. Um, So there you go. So you know my nickname. um, Oh, that's my mum's name. That's a really good guess. It's not my middle name, Leslie. But that's my mum's name who passed away. So I wonder how you got that. Is that just a pure guess? That's freaky. Uh, Jennifer, my company insists in terms and conditions that we declare the company and the group by. This is an interesting discussion. And I know I've, I've, I've talked long enough, but I really want to address this, Jennifer. When you brand yourself and it's a value-based group, 
your company cannot dictate to you that the company name has got to be in the group because it's got nothing to do with them when it's value based. Okay, so you take my um, social media group, and our company doesn't have that condition, but take my social media group. Okay, so it's it's different, but let's say I had a health and wellness group, um, and it was my name, and it's like Helen's health and wellness tips, you know, something like that. But it was, um, you know, it's value based, one hundred percent value based. And all I do with curiosity is, you know, let's say I'm doing, um, you know, something to do with beauty and something on my face, and it's like if you, I use this special, you know, mask or whatever, and it helps this with your pores and all the rest of it. If you would like to know what I use, then um, you know, hit me up in Messenger and I'll share that with you. If, if I don't have anything in my group about the company, the company has no right to insist that you use their name because there's nothing identifying the company name. So it's a really interesting discussion, Jennifer, um, and something I would never encourage you guys to do, something that's going to get you into trouble with your company. So, yes, some of you may need to look into that, but if it's your name, it's value-based and curiosity-based, they have no right because it's got nothing to do with them. When it's purely, if you suddenly start showing the product and whatever, then yes, absolutely. So interesting, interesting uh, discussion around that one. Uh, oh, okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one. No, Laurie, you're close, but no. Um, yeah, they're amazing. So you didn't know that? No. Uh, that was my nickname too. Really? How cool is that? Okay. Uh, that was my grand's name. Oh, well, there you go. Well, that was my mum's name and she passed away when I was very young. So it's a very special name to me. Um, okay, Jennifer, that helps a lot, didn't I? Okay, glad that's helpful. Now, I've really got to go because <laughs> not that I really have to go, but I really don't like talking this long um, because it's, yeah. Anyway, um, thank you for joining me. I hope this is helpful. If you really want to dial down your branding, then join us next week and work with me for a month on your branding. Um, it's not an expensive investment in the future of your business online. It is that important, okay? So I won't see you tomorrow, guys, because I'll be still on my training. This hour tomorrow morning, I would have gone through the night and I was still sitting on the training. So maybe I'll put a photo up at the time I'm normally live, but I'll fill you in next week on how that training went. And don't forget, if you're in the US and Canada, I will be an hour later than I normally, than you normally used to seeing me, okay? So have an amazing weekend. I'll share mine with you guys um, on my page and what I'm up to um, and how I'm faring and I will see you guys next week, okay? See ya. Bye.